Hi, this is Dan Soy, amateur cook, aka Batman in the Kitchen. Welcome to the Food Zone, where we take this journey together, learning recipes as one. Today we have another steak sandwich from Texas. For the fans of Texas, this one's for you. Thanks for visiting my channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell. But for today's recipe, um, we have steak. We have um, mayonnaise and horseradish. This, in this thing here, we got red onion, white onion, mushrooms, and we have the pieces of um, onion rings in there. So I cooked these separately and then I mixed them together. Then we have mild cheddar and Monterey Jack, pizza blend, enchilada sauce, banana peppers. We have our rolls for today. It's already garlic bread. You've seen on my channel many times um, me um, doing garlic bread buns for um, different kinds of pizza and for um, the other steak sandwiches. And then the thing that we really need is the Texas True. The barbecue sauce so um this thing we're gonna put together and um you can either um put it in the oven or a toaster oven or in the microwave to warm everything or melt it but like with this recipe i cooked the steak ahead of time so um let's just do step by step right now all right so the first step is um if you cook the steak ahead of time open up a ziploc bag and we're gonna pour some of this um barbecue sauce in there and then we're going to mix it up if you want you could put it into a pan and pour the sauce on top and warm it all right texas true so um just pour some in there and then we'll um zip block this bag and then we'll mix it all together all right so i have that barbecue sauce in there just start mixing that up. Make sure you got it sealed and um, try to get as much air out of there as possible. If you roll a Ziploc bag like that and then zip it, it's like almost like um, shrink wrapping it, like um, vacuum seal. You can see that a lot of the air is out. So just keep mixing this together like this. If you wanted to, like I said, you could just throw it into a pan with the sauce on top and do it. But we're going to do this easy. All right, so we have our um, garlic bread, our French roll. Now we're gonna start off with some enchilada sauce. So the thing you're gonna wanna do is um, just put a thin layer of um, enchilada sauce on there. You don't have to go heavy because we're gonna add so much other stuff. All right, so the next step is just put a really thin layer of um, that Monterey, and mild cheddar. You can see the different colors, so just don't go heavy unless you really like cheese. So um, just put a thin layer on there. All right, so um, the next step is um, take your steak and just put your steak on top of that. So after you put your steak on that, we'll go to the next step. All right. Um, YouTube and Facebook, you can see the steaks on there, the sauces in there. Now we're gonna um, throw on that mixture and we'll throw in some pizza cheese. If you want, you could throw the pizza cheese in first or you could do the mixture first, it's up to you. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the mixture in. Actually, this sandwich is barely gonna be able to hold this, um, the contents of the steak sandwich. Be back. All right, so we have that mixture in there now. You can see the onion rings, the bread crumbs from it. We got um, the peppers and the um, mushrooms. So now we're just gonna lightly coat it with a little bit of pizza sauce. I mean, not pizza sauce, pizza cheese. So you can already tell the size of the sandwich. It's way too big for the French roll, <laughs> but all right, so um, that's next. I mean, this is the, um, one of the last steps. Now we'll do the final touches of our Texas steak sandwich, the ultimate steak sandwich. All right, so we're to the last steps, and then we'll melt it. Take more of that um, jack cheese and um, throw it on top. Hmm. 
<laughs> so look at that sandwich. The next step is um, we're going to um, put the banana peppers on top and the uh, mayonnaise on the other side of the sandwich. All right, so we have that together. You can see it's overstuffed. Maybe it should be called the overstuffed steak sandwich from Texas. So now we're going to add um, banana peppers on top. And we're going to put that horseradish mayonnaise and pepper on the on the top of the bun. We're going to um, put the top on. Then it's up to you. You can put it in the microwave 20 seconds at a time. Put it in a toaster oven or in the oven. Or you could put it in a pan with some water and put a top on and use steam to melt the cheese. All right, so we took some banana peppers out and we let them drain. You get a little bit of the juice on. It's okay. If you want, you could actually heat the sandwich first. Then put the mayonnaise and um, banana peppers on. It's up to you. So one last step and we can melt the cheese. All right, so we're back for the final step. Just um, put some of that um, horseradish mayonnaise with pepper on there. And we're going to top this off. But like I said, if you wanted to, you could have left this off and this off and just put it back on, warmed it. And then when it was warm, you could have took the top off and put it back on there. But it's up to you. Your cook, your house. All right, so we're done with that. Now we're just going to put the top on the overstuffed sandwich. And you can see the size of that. Now, either put it in the oven, toaster oven, pan with steam, or put it in the microwave. I'm going to put it in the microwave. If you put it in the microwave, cook it at 20 seconds at a time. Do it 20 seconds and pause. Do it another 20 seconds. Check it, see what it's like. If you need to, do it another 10 or 20 seconds. The key to the microwave is to um, do it slowly. And the sandwich won't get chewy. And um, I found out that a microwave can um, really melt the cheese the best. It's, I know it sounds weird, but um, the microwave is really good at melting cheese. So let me warm this and then we'll plate it. All right, so here's one last picture before we... Um, warm it all right youtube there's your texas barbecue overstuffed steak sandwich so with your mind and imagination look at the steam coming off of there with your mind and imagination you can do anything so thank you texas for always coming to my facebook thank you for the usa and canada thank you to the philippines so this is um your Texas Texas <laughs> barbecue sandwich. I can't talk. So please um subscribe, hit the bell, tell people about my page, and I'll bring you more creations in time. Love you. Peace. Dan Soy. Peace out.